care about your heel spur. We were trying to show the. They don't want to see that. Yes, they do. Ah, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. My heel spur has been fixed. Not your lymphedema, though. Ugh. My heel, ha my heel spur is. Ah, can they see? Actually, is it too bright or too dark? They just see your fupa. I, I don't have a fupa. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. I'm back from the hospital. And they did, ouch, ouch. I'm very, very swollen. They basically had to go and, ah, ah, I You're can't hold. You're always swollen. Uh, they made. You basically are Look, a you lymphedema. Made me you are a lymphedema. I don't have lymphedema. It's just water weight. Lymphedema is a disease. I don't have a disease. It's just water. I would say you're pretty diseased. Anyways, you guys. I love how that ranch is still sitting there. I'm hungry at nighttime, but you guys, I'm back. The surgery only took an hour and a half. Uh, but I've been here in bed all day. I am in lots of pain medicines. This is my foot. Oh my gosh, I'm holding it. So, I'm back from the hospital. We should say... Uh, Hospital. I wore my merch. The, the nurse, oh my god, the nurse from Jamaica was really into me. <laughs> She's just like, oh, we don't have those types of shirts where I'm from. I'm like, what, would you like me to give you one? Actually, I can't because I'm greedy. Good. It's just waterweight.com. You can buy one, lady. It's just waterweight.com. So today is Skinny Saturdays because of my foot. And um, I decided let's be skinny with something that I haven't had in years. You haven't been skinny in five years, sir. Waterway. Let's have something I haven't had for years for you people. And there. Orlin, stop! You out of breath, baby? I am. I, baby, I'm in a lot of pain. I don't care. You should care. I'm your husband. Barely. Okay. Hand me. So we ordered TGI Fridays and they, the Uber driver, I don't know if he took out the good bag, they gave it to us in a garbage bag. Because you're a garbage person. I mean, you are a dumpster fire. Orlin, I deserve a regular TGI Friday bag. You deserve to go on a diet, sweetie. Ooh, onion rings. Ooh, what's this? The only vegetables you eat, onion rings. Why do they put the ch mac and cheese like this? So they wouldn't spill anywhere? They should be in a container. What are those? Are those not containers? That's it? Did you break your That cost me $15! Oh, that's I'm calling corporate. This was $15? They should have filled up the whole tub. Why didn't you call me and say, Nick, they gave you a tub? But they only put little baby little cartons inside of it. They, they, fraud. Those are normal human portions. I'm not everyone's a pig like you are. Not everyone. I identify as family. You're a blob, a human blob. Look at those pretzels. Oh, those look really good. Okay, here we go. Teacher Friday take out. Ugh. They didn't even give me a full sticker. They ripped up the sticker in half. Is something happening to our economy? Is something happening to our government? I understand the gas is going up. Are there shortages that I don't know about? Your weight folks are going up. <sighs> That's it. These are the ribs. They're not even in the proper boxes. TJ Friday boxes are black. They gave me clear. They don't even give me the stickers. This is from Chinese takeout. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That comes from China. Chinese to here. Here's the normal TGI Friday's boxes. So now I won't even have black boxes for the thumbnail. I would have said, excuse me, no, I want my money back. They put the mac and cheese like this. They're supposed to fit. I ordered container works. $17.99. This was $150. See, they did it for here. They filled up the actual container. This is chicken parmesan with fettuccine alfredo. I got ribs. You guys never see me eat ribs ever, which are under here. <sighs> which are where? where? Here are the ribs. Little baby ribs. Baby back. I'm 
angry. It's an expensive weight gain. I'm not gonna gain much weight on this scraps. No, I'm sure it's tasty. I'm sure it's nice. They were very nice over the phone when I placed the order. But they should have told me, by the way, we have shortages according to, uh, I don't even know. Who can I blame on this? Yourself. The governors. Yourself. The Congress, the president, who's at fault for giving me skimpy containers? They deserve to never be elected again. Oh, starvation when I just got surgery, which I had to pay for. I'm mad. No TGI Friday's bag. They gave me Chinese takeout bags and they put the other one in a trash bag. If I'm paying $150, give me a regular paper bag. Cheesecake Factory does it. Applebee's does it. At least I think. I don't know. Red Robins does it. Oh. Look at this. This better be amazing. You're still going to stuff your pie hole with every last morsel. I'm mad. And I just had surgery. Oh. I don't even know how I'm supposed to display this for all these peasants. Oh. Alright, let's try it. Here we go, boys and girls. We have to make arts and crafts even though I'm disabled. You want a spoon, sweetie? No, we're just going to go like this. What are you, a lunch lady? Ah! That's barely enough food for a hippo. Uh. Creepers. I'm gonna bring you a spoon. I have one here. It's I've probably my... dirty. I've only used it for three days. Here we go. One down. Mac and cheese. This better be incredible. Seventeen dollars. I don't know why they did it like that, but they did. This one looks different. This one has cheddar on it. Oh, so oh. So it's really it's regular mac and cheese, and they just spread sprinkle some cheddar, shredded cheese on top, and call, uh, charge me five extra dollars. This is why you're so. Oh, fat. this is cheddar. Oh, let's just mix it up. It's okay. You really need that extra cheddar on your. Ah, uh, if I pay for it, I do. Listen, honey, you, you pay for it, you get what you pay for. How do you pay for a liposuction? I can't even breathe right now. Turn, go, leave, and go turn the air on 69, my favorite number. You never do that number anymore. You can't do it. Because I'm disabled. Because you're stuck. Your pickle gets fucked. Your fupa. Your pickle's buried. Buried by fat. I don't have a fupa. Fupa cabra. Fupa cabra. Oh, please. I can't. Oh, I'm so mad. No TJ Fry. No fancy boxes. No nice bag to display. A hundred. $50. This better be the best mac and cheese on earth. It better be. Cheapest creepers. Look at all this wasted plastic and wasted stuff. They should have just put it all in here. They gave me so many containers. What was so hard about putting it in here like they did for the Alfredo? I ordered the, the catering size. I know you identify as family. They should have given you more food. Jesus. Well, there's my intro. Sorry, people. Mm. Look at that. Plastic, 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 plastic. It's all going to end up in China's sea that they just chuck into the ocean. Because 90% of our plastic does not get recycled. Did you know it? You should Google it. Look at the documentary, Plastic Wars. 90%, unless it's a plastic bottle, don't bother recycling this. Put this in the trash can. Because that's actually better for the earth than to be chucked into our ocean. At least it's going to be somewhat degraded. Because there's no companies that want to buy it back. And so we sh we pay Indonesia to take our our recycled, aka it's really just trash. We take, they take our recycled items <clears throat> and they don't know what to do with it. They don't have the infrastructure. They don't have the money. So they chuck it into the ocean. As if you're dying. China's fault. Your diet's so good for the environment, right? It is. Cheese, 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 cheese. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh, 
chicken parmesan with pasta underneath. Okay. Ouch. You need a bit of tray, sweetie. I have my onion rings. Where are my sides? Oh, they're in there. Onion rings. Pretzel sticks. Personal buffet. Oh, I do love soft pretzels so much. Oh my god. Do they identify as vegan? Oh. Not now. No. No. You're going to eat my food? Probably not vegan. Anyway. What's this? We'll find out. We have my little, uh, look at all this, uh, This it look really good. Better be incredible. I know this looks really good, actually. <laughs> this one looks nice. Uh, such oh. a sad day to be vegan. Mm -hmm. These are mac and cheese bacon balls. What's in here? What's in here? Ribs. You haven't seen ribs in a long time. Ribs. Is that cows? Well, you are a cow, so you would know. Is that cows? You guys, I haven't had ribs for you for like years. So we'll do that. Okay, you can take the trash. You can take all that out my presence. You don't fit in the bag. And I have to um, do my thumbnail. Ah, turn it off. Here's my foot. And here's my setup. I'm in... <coughs> Excuse me, a lot of situations. It's a surgery situation type deal. How about a weight loss situation type deal so you don't keep getting ouch, the surgeries? Ouch. This had nothing to do with my weight gain. Ouch. Had everything to do with my jeans. So in case you skip the intro, today is surgery Saturday. And first I'm going to try... Oh, let's try an underwing first. I'm going to put the ribs on my broken foot. It's actually a heel spur. You should put them on your ribs. Maybe some Where's of your the old ribs. See if they can make an appearance. Do y'all want to see my ribs or not? Yes or no? <laughs> They're buried. They <laughs> Deep down like the Titanic. You know what? Nope. The neighbors are going to file a, a, a claim on their this month's rent. Because you keep making me ring this bell. Oh, good exercise. Yeah, I'm sweating. Excuse me, people. First, we're gonna try an onion ring. Do you wanna see my ribs? They're under my merch, which under you can purchase. Fat. This is my purple. This is my purple one version. We've changed the faces around. So this is the old version, but it's the same vibrant colors. But we feature my belly now. Go check it out. Link down below. You know, purple's not a color. It's just what are we talking about? What do you mean it's not a color? It's actually violet, but dumb people say purple. Ugh, oh, whatever. All right, so it came with this cheese. I don't know what type of cheese this is, but I do like cheese. Here we go, TGI Fridays. You've been making lots of cheese lately for the young shower. Well, I'm out of here. I'll be mm -hmm. So what happened to being a vegan, sweetie? My jaw, hold on, ow. Ever since I got the beep 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 my jaw, I can't chew. Wait. Not from servicing me. Not watch, watch these. These are the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese bacon balls. They kind of remind me of Cheesecake Factory. Let's try it by itself. I've never had this before. Mmm. I'm having anxiety. It's so good. It's so delicious. It's so tasty. I need to. We need to calm my calm my bits. <sighs> oh my god, it was so good. Vitamins, so I'm extra healthy. Which we can do right now. Ouch, my foot. It's throbbing. Orlid. The only thing throbbing in this house.
I throb just not to you. Look. Ouch. 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 Heel spur moment type deal. Surgery Saturdays. How about a weight loss type deal, type moment, situation type deal? I don't want to lose weight because God may be beautiful. How about I just accept how I is? Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Take this. You was ugly. It's too, it's too hard on my bones to carry that. <sighs> ah, cheaper, cheaper, oh. There you go. We need to try these ribs. <sighs> Wait, let's do. Let's do this again. This is the ranch. This is the ranch from Wingstop. I kind of want to compare. Wingstop Ranch. Mmm. <clears throat> now I'm going to do TGI Fridays cheese. It's a lot stickier, and it almost tastes like Mexican. You would know what a Mexican tastes like. Mmm. Yeah, because I cheat on you, Colombian. It's okay. I like Mexican guys. I cheat on you with Colombians and Mexicans. Ouch my jaw, the PPP. 35 and older. Mexicans. Ah. The cheese they supply you with is actually perfect with these onion rings. It's actually better. Oh. Okay, I'm actually really liking this. Oh, let's try it. Where's my... The mac and cheese. Now this is a whole tray's worth. Oh my god. Oh my god. We'll bring God into this. Oh my gosh. He doesn't approve of this. Mmm. That's it. This is exactly how I like mac and cheese. Extra fatty? No, no, it has a, uh, 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 it has a crunch. Want the aspirin, sweetie? Mmm. -mm. Mm. Oh my God, that cheese that I got didn't come with the onion rings. <laughs> it came with my pretzels. That's right. Mmm. TGI Fridays. Did I say mean things about you? I forget. Did I? Did I say anything mean about them? Yes or no? No. Fine. Be that way, you brat. Um. I take it all back. This is really tasty. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. 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 Ah! Uh, I barely even chewed. I can't chew. My muscles and my jaw hurt. It's it's hurt ever since I got the beep beep beep. It's been six months now. It's not going away. Okay. This mac and cheese is so tasty. Mmm. It just hits you right away. Not like my foot hit me. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh. So I'm gonna tell you about my surgery. <clears throat> my surgery was at nighttime last night. Technically Friday, but technically Saturday, because it was a midnight operation. Because so I told them I want to be seen sooner, and they're like, well, we have a long waiting list. And I said, no, I am have a very important career that requires a lot of activity. I need to have this chopped off, sewn back up, and recovering. <coughs> so they said, I had a transfer to a whole different hospital. Oh my God, look at this cheese, look at this cheese, look at this cheese, look at this cheese. They lined it all with cheese, cheese. Look, excuse me, bacon, cheddar, cheese, that's mozzarella shit. We're gonna, I don't even know what type of shit. What am I dipping it in? Is this spicy? I don't know. I 
actually might like this more than Cheesecake Factory. Dare I say. Because theirs sometimes is so fatty, it's kind of overwhelming. It's like, ooh. This is beautiful. They line the whole bottom with cheese, mozzarella, with bacon bits, and fresh parsley. And I just combine it with my fingers with the ball. And then I dip it here into this dip, which is like a spicy chipotle. That's so good. I don't know where to put it. Ooh, it's spicy. That's so tasty. Mmm. Ah. Uh, so anyways, I went in, I know, sorry, the story. I went in so nervous and I passed out twice before they even started, which I kind of knew would happen. And uh, it's kind of crazy that I'm still here, to be honest with you, because when that, that happens, I always feel like I'm, I'm going, you know what I mean? I feel like it's over, bye bye Earth. <clears throat> but no, everything was wonderful. I don't remember much of it, any of it because they put me out for it. That was my choice at an option of kind of just doing local. Uh, I did general. I'm not being awake for any of this. You crazy? Um. <clears throat> so I recorded a little vlog, which I'm not putting on YouTube because it has a lot of like beep 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 beeps going on and pe like, you know, YouTube won't like that. So let's go to my patrons for my patrons. Mm. My heel's still throbbing. But I also kind of feel a little funny because they gave me these things to take and I feel a little funny. Okay, as you see, I'm avoiding my ribs. We have to do it. I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Let's try these ribs. I feel like I'm gonna need a little extra protection in case these gonna get messy. Okay, you never know. It is America. So they gave me two types. One's honey glazed, one's whiskey glazed. Oh, it falls right off the bone. Oh, why am I so afraid? Oh, these look really actually kind of amazing. All right. That meat slid right off the bone. I'm looking at the bone like a man. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I was always afraid to lick the bone. Oh, the meat's a little chewy. Is this a cow or a pig? Let's do the other one. It's huge. Oh, this might be the honey one. Oh my goodness. How do I even start? Is that all fat? All right, here we go. You know, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm not like in love with it. The meat's kind of chewy. I love the glazings. That's very tasty. Reminds me of uh, hair. 
feel like I'm eating hair. That's the actual meat part. Hair. Uh -huh. Tastes like hair. You guys know. I've always been a carbs person over a meat person. I like cheese. And I like meat when it's really, really like denatured. <laughs> deep fried and chopped up and processed and programmed like sliced pepperonis I, I could do that you know it's so fake pepperoni is fake that's fake food this is getting very natural it's really on the bone it's still on the bone bye -bye. you know bye -bye 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 -bye. I prefer carbs mm -hmm. so much more with some meat in there, mixing around. That's nice. Oh man. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Let's try my chicken parmesans. Okay, so I'm not a huge meat lover. I'm a cheese lover, cheese and butter lover, carbs lover. Um, but I thought it was nice. Slightly chewy, but not like chewy chewy. Okay, so I probably haven't even said the word chewy. I shouldn't even said that. It was good. It was good. Okay, let's try this uh, chicken parmesan. Oh, man. Look at this chicken parmesan. Oh, that's a lot of butter noodles underneath. So I'm kind of just going to go into it like this. That's a very clean palette. <clears throat> very subtle flavors. Is that the ones I'm looking for? Where's my fork? What's wrong now? I need a fork, please. Can you lose your pickle again? <sighs> Turn it off, it's about to depart. Thanks for the fork. You're not welcome. Well, I didn't really thank you. I just kind of said it. Just I know, you don't mean it. It's like, I don't mean it. I'm going to try the pasta. Fettuccine Alfredo pasta. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Let's see how this goes. Definitely, um, that is sticky, like dry and sticky. And the flavor is kind of boring. Now, let me tell you, I just had a garden the other day, and then the day after that, we had takeout Thursday. Mm. Olive Garden was on my third channel, in case you didn't see it. Go to Nikocado 3. Go check it out. Subscribe to that channel. Okay? It's a different channel. I post there. Anyways, but then on this channel, Takeout Thursdays, we had my local Italian place. Ah! Uh, that fettuccine alfredo was amazing. This is not. <laughs> Am I mean? I'm just telling you what I think. It's my opinion. You might love it. And let me tell you my reasoning, so I don't just say it just to say it. Here, my, here let me back it up with support. Back up with evidence. Okay, here are the receipts. The receipts say that to me it's a little sticky, it's a little dry, and it's missing something. Maybe some salt, maybe some paprika, something. You're like, ew, paprika and noodles? I don't know. Maybe garlic? Let me try it again. Okay, the texture, it's just, they're just very dry. Like the bottom is completely bone dry. Like everywhere is bone dry. 
It's like the, I almost feel like it's also the actual pasta tastes like just regular hard pasta to throw in a pot that you can do at home. Whereas my local Italian place, I think that was handmade. And maybe Olive Garden is too, or they use a different type. I don't know. See what I mean? No reaction. Ooh, it leaves a leftover like. Like sticky. And um the this is nice. Mmm. Oh, this is way better. That's good. I still like my local Italian place better. Way better. Cause I actually love their, their main air sauce, their homemade. special Italian recipe. You know, I was thinking about these ribs. They kind of remind me of uh, metal. There's something very specific about ribs. I think that's why I kind of stay away from them. Like, it, it almost tastes like blood. Like old, rusty blood. That sounds weird. It's just the flavor. It's not the same as uh, steak. The flavor is different, even though they coat it with all this amazing flavor. The actual flavor of the actual meat has nothing to do with TGI Fridays. It has everything to do with the cut of the animal. Off the bone. See this? The flavor tastes like old rusty pipes of the actual meat. Ooh. It's a lot to handle. You have to love that flavor, you know? Oh, gosh. No more, please. Whereas an onion ring... Oh, I could go for this all day, you know? Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mmm. I just love carbs more. Like, if I tell you my favorite meat, I really have to sit and think because there's like nothing that comes out to me. Like, this is everything chicken. And don't say you should be vegan. I don't want to be vegan. Cheese and butter, that's a whole different story. I can't, I'll, I'll take all of it. Whipped cream, cheese, cream, cheese, sour cream. Ah. Uh, And like these bacon bits are nice because it's with a blanket of cheese. You see that? Mmm. 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 Oh, man. Onion rings and cheesy. Uh, these are brand new. They're called. Bacon cheddar cheese balls on the appetizer menu. The pretzels are good too. I think I like pretzels more from uh, mm. No, these pretzels are good. The cheese sauce that they gave you with the pretzels is a very good. Reminds me of Wiener Schnitzel. Very underrated, this pretzel. Is anyone even rating it? That's the thing. This food's good. And this mac and cheese. Oh, man. Let's go back here. Where's my spoon? Oh. That is a tasty Velveeta type. It's very thick. The macaroni has some 
bite to it. it tastes like the Velveeta. Um, Mm. Oh, that's good. <sighs> Catch my breath, everybody. Oh, yeah, back to my day. Well, honestly, I was out for all of it. I've been a little delirious and dr dr drink draining this whole time. Uh, and I'm actually really thankful that I was able to get surgery as soon as I did. There's people that have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks. Unless they're life-threatening, of course, you know. But this is not really what you would consider super emergency. But... I, I literally... I was the one that brought up to them. I'm like, can I do an obscure hour where... People don't normally want to volunteer their time to do it. They said, well, actually, technically, yeah, on Friday. So, here's the blue cheese from Wingstop. These onion rings are great. Mm. Oh, my God. Don't you like to watch me eat? Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Hi, <laughs> I'm still here. Mmm. That is really good, though. Chicken parmesan. It's a nice, subtle deliciousness. Very good. I think I would recommend everything except the ribs. And the ribs, not because it's not flavorful. The sauce of the honey glaze is good. The whiskey, whatever. I personally just don't like ribs. Yeah, I just don't. Never have, really, to be honest. I feel like I'm catching my breath still. This happened because of the, ever since I broke my heel spur, I've been trying to play catch up with my breath. a little scary to me, you know what I mean? It's a little, oh, what's happening? But, it'll get better. Because I'm on a weight loss journey. Oh! Brace. 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 Girl, I have to poop. Goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye to my foot. Ouch. What do you want? Do you know that I like you? I love you. I don't. I just want to call you in here and tell you that I love you. I don't love you. I feel like it's not mutual. Yes, it is. I love you so much. Ouch. 
Are you done? Is that all you wanted? Yeah. Okay. Waste of time. I love you. I don't love you. E Turn off the camera! You think I called you in here because I love you? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, right. You're here to work for me. Work. I love your money. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C. Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.